Hi guys, it is Tiffany Elizabeth and I am back with another video. In today's video, I am going to be doing a wash day. You guys know I don't do a bunch of hair videos, but from time to time when I get my hands on a certain product, why not try this product and let others know how it worked for me? So I feel like this is just like a fun wash. You know what I'm saying? When I saw watermelon slushy shampoo, I was like, hmm. I was just super, super excited to try these. The bottles are super cute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this video. If you've seen my other hair videos, you know that I like to wash my hair, starting off by just rinsing it under water. First, I'm taking my watermelon slushy shampoo and I'm going to apply that to my scalp. Using this shampoo, it did not strip my hair of any moisture. Um, it did a pretty good job of removing the grease and the oil from my hair. And it does say that that's what it does. So um, it definitely did a good job of cleaning my hair. I have used better shampoos that are more moisturizing, but it wasn't terrible. I would definitely recommend detangling your hair prior to applying the shampoo or detangling it while the shampoo is in there because it did kind of leave my hair a little bit tangled, but other than that, it was okay. After rinsing out my shampoo, uh, my hair is still pretty bouncy. My curls look pretty hydrated. So um, yeah, the shampoo is it's okay guys and it smells super good so i would use this product again if i had to now i am going in with my tropical fruit smoothie conditioner this conditioner is said to tame knots and leave your hair moisturized and silky smooth one thing I did notice using this conditioner is I had to apply a lot of it. You will always be my black queen, mama. All right, so now I am just rinsing out all that conditioner out of my hair and kind of finger detangling as I let the water run throughout my hair. I am pretty much done washing my hair now. My hair smells amazing. Um, I have used better products, but this, it wasn't terrible guys. So yeah. I allowed my hair to air dry a little bit. So now I'm just gonna go in with this bamboo extract and almond oil. And um, I'm gonna be using this to moisturize my hair before styling it. So I don't know if this really makes sense, but this oil is like not one of those oils that's like super greasy. It's more so of like a shine type of oil. Like it just leaves my hair like shiny and moisturized, but it doesn't leave it like oily. So I really, really like that about this oil. I'm just taking each section and detangling it, making sure that it's moisturized and ready to go. I also focus the oil like on my ends so that way my ends are nice and moisturized. And then I'm just gonna kind of twist my hair to get it out the way. And then I'm just gonna repeat the same step with um, my next section. And as you guys can see, it's so shiny. Like this, that's not even like leftover shampoo or conditioner in my hair. That's like straight oil. So I wanted to try something different. Um, I saw another girl on YouTube and she was like basically wrapping her hair guys um, just to like basically stretch her hair without having to use heat. 
So I'm going to attempt to wrap my hair while it's like a little bit dry still. Um, she had her hair actually wet when she wrapped it. So she allowed it to air dry for a couple hours, I guess. And then she took it out and her hair was straight without heat. So I wanted to try the same thing, except my hair is not drenching wet or anything. It's just damp. So we gonna see. Okay, so that obviously didn't work, so scratch that. We just gonna blow dry <laughs> because I need my hair stretched, guys, and I need it done now. Um, I did use a low setting, so there shouldn't be a whole lot of damage done. Here you guys just see me sectioning off my hair again because I'm going to go ahead and flat iron my hair. But first, I want to just get my sections ready and begin applying more oil before applying heat to my hair. What I'm doing here is called the chase method, and it's where you just take a comb and you basically comb your hair as you run your flat iron down your hair to make sure that it's nice and smooth and your hair is evenly getting what it needs done. I decided to flat iron my hair and kind of bump the ends under so that way it kind of like, I need a good trim guys. So bumping the ends kind of helps the appearance that your ends don't need to get trimmed right now. I'm going to go ahead and complete the rest of my head, basically doing the same steps you guys just saw me do. And if you wanna see how this look turned out, just keep watching. This is the completed look. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching.